So we'll start with that good posture, feet hip width, knees relaxed, hips in line, shoulders back and down. So imagine that string from the crown to the sky, placing one hand on the chest, one just below the ribs, breathing in and out through the nose, aiming that in breath to the lower hand. So bring the arms down, when you come up on the toes, reach up for the sky and then control back down. So inhale, lengthen up, belly button squeezed in, exhale down. Inhale, coming up, exhale down. Inhale, up, exhale down. Inhale, lengthen up. Then bring the arms to shoulder level, staying on the toes. And we're doing small circles with the arms. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed and the arm muscles tense. And then circle the other way. Remember, belly button squeezed in. Find that focus point, something still to stare at. And then we'll do bigger circles, a little bit more challenging. And the other way. And coming down. So take the legs nice and wide for forward bend. The toes facing forwards, squeezing the thighs. And the inhale, exhale, bring the body down. So aiming to get parallel to the ground with the back flat. And we're coming back up. Inhale and exhale forwards. So keep the head in line with the spine and come back up to middle. We'll inhale and exhale forwards. And then coming back up. And placing the hands into the lower back, squeezing the elbows together. We'll inhale, exhale forwards. back up, now we'll add the back bend, so inhale first, exhale look up to the sky, inhale there, exhale forward to that halfway point, and we're coming back up. So this next one, if you haven't done this with me before, is the forward bend into a twist, so you're better off watching, um, and then we'll do it again. So placing the hands into the lower back, inhale, exhale look up. Inhale, exhale forwards, and then sliding the hands down the legs. And then take the right hand to the left foot or to the thigh, wherever you get to, reaching up with the other arm, and then place the hand around the back and twist a little further, and then swap to the other side. So bringing the one arm up, twist a little bit more, bring the hand around the back. And both hands back to the feet, bend the knees, roll on up through the spine. Alright, so we'll do that again. So hands into the lower back. Inhale, exhale, look up. Inhale, exhale, forward. So you can just stay here if you want to. Or slide the hands down the leg. And then we're taking the right hand to the left foot. That left arm reaches up. Twist a little bit more. And round the back. Bring that left hand across to the right foot and the right arm comes up, twist that right arm around the back and bring both hands back to the feet or the shins wherever you're at, bending the knees, rolling back up through the spine. Now keeping that wide stance we're going to come into warrior two. So I'm turning that right foot 90 degrees, bending that knee above the ankle back foot slightly angled towards that front foot, body facing forwards, arms shoulder level, shoulders relaxed, and then just turn the head to look along that front arm, bringing the arms down and we'll turn the feet around, so that left foot's at 90 degrees, back foot angled, 
torso facing forwards, shoulders above the hips. Just gently turn the head. And we'll come back to the front and we'll do one more each side. The right foot's 90. And good bend in that front knee, back leg straight. And look along that front arm. And just see if you can sink a little bit further through the middle. And then turn around to do the other side. So make sure you keep the weight central and you don't lean towards that front leg. arms down and we'll finish with the good posture and the breathing. Oh no we won't. <laughs> we will do tree pose first. So standing on that right leg. Now bring the left foot to the ankle, the calf or up into the inner thigh but not resting on the knee joint. And bring the hands to the chest and fingertips to the sky. Or, if you struggle with the balance, just keep the arms out shoulder level. And I'll do the other side. And again, just placing the foot just where you can. So we've got the hips facing forwards, the knee out to the side. And bring the arms up if you can. And bring the arms down. So now we'll finish with a good posture and the breathing. So crown to the sky, chin parallel to the ground, one hand on the chest, one just below the ribs, breathing in and out through the nose. And just see if you can feel the heartbeat with the upper hand. Just notice as the breathing slows down. Bring the arms down and we're all done.